Okay, so this is a video that will show how to take a 3D uh, back of curve element and create a profile for it that you can then use for plans production um, in Geopack. And what makes this kind of an odd thing to do is the fact that you have these gaps uh, in, the, um, uh, in this element here. And so you've got this 3D element with these gaps in it you need to take these profiles back to uh, Geopack, which does not allow gaps. So how do we do this? Well, the first thing we do, you can see here in my corridor file, I've got 2D, and then I've got the 3D element. I need to create a, a profile for this element. Now, to do that, I'm going to come down into 3D geometry, and I'm going to do a plan by 3D element. Now, this is a tool that allows you to locate uh, any 3D element, which I'm going to do right here. And then what it does is it creates over here in 2D, you'll notice it creates a 2D, you can see the green right here, uh, it creates a 2D element. That element also is, is, is real geometry. And if I open up a profile view, and let's just scroll up that right there, you can actually see this yellow line is that profile. Now, one of the problems we have here, if you didn't have gaps, you could just immediately take this, um, take that alignment over to Geopack, uh, export it out to the GPK, and um, and put and project it onto your uh, your your mainline profile and run your plan sheets. But you can see here, um, it doesn't hand this doesn't handle the gaps uh, very well um, at all. So how do we get around that? So what I'm going to do now that we've got this created, I'm going to go over to. You'll notice here my alignment file. Uh, is actually the alignment is actually in a reference file. So I'm going to go open that file. And so here's my alignment file. So let's open that up. Okay, so we're in my alignment file. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my uh, corridor. So here's, here's the corridor that we just saw over there in my corridor file. Now I've just turned it on. Uh, you'll see it's in a reference, and here's the left. It, there's the uh, left back of curve element that I want to use. Now, what I want to do is, while I'm in the uh, alignment and profile for this main alignment, I want to project this onto here, uh, and I'm going to do this in a special way. So I'm going to come here to vertical geometry, and I'm going to use the tool Project Profile Range to Element. And so what I'm going to do. Um, now again, remember, Geopack does not handle gaps in alignments or gaps in profiles. So what I need to do is I need to create individual profiles for the pieces. And so that's why I'm using the tool uh, Project Profile Range to Elements. What I'm going to do is I'm going to identify that, uh, move over here, and select the alignment I want to project to. Okay. And then it's going to ask me, where do you want to start? Well, I'm going to snap to the beginning of that line to grab my first station. And I'm going to snap to the end of that line to get the second station. Now, when I did that, you'll notice down here that it just uh, projected just that piece of the profile onto the, um, uh, the main line for me. Now, let's scroll down a little bit, and we'll do a, a couple more just to show you how this is done. Again, we're using the Project Profile Range to Element. Um, you select it. You identify the alignment you want to project it to, which in our case is our main line alignment. Um, and it says Start Station. You could key it in. In my case, I'm just going to snap to the beginning of that element, and then I'm going to snap to the beginning, or to the, I'm sorry, to the end of that element. And again, down in here, you'll notice if I zoom in that now it's put that back of curve profile on here for me. Let's do. Uh, let's just do one more. Um, so there's no questions about how this works. So again, uh, we'll select my tool, uh, select the uh, alignment that has the profile you want to project, uh, uh, select the plan element to project onto. And then you want to snap to pick up the beginning station. And you want to snap to pick up the ending station. And again, if we move right down here, you'll see um, that that has been picked up for us. Now, at this point, 
um, they are projected, but they don't have names. And in order to go to the GPK, uh, they have to have names. So I'm going to call this one left BOC1. Now this is actually already has a feature, and this is a persisted feature. So as soon as I name it, it's going to say, hey, which one of these GPKs do you want to go to? Now, if it wasn't a persisted feature, you could just manually export the profiles. Um, and so that one's going to be done. I'll go to this one, give the, uh, I'll call this one left BOC2. And that one will be persisted. And then finally, I'll go to this one, and we'll call this one left BOC3 and that will be persisted as well. Now just to see this, let's go to Geopack, go to Coordinate Geometry, Open 99, Open Navigator. Uh, you can see there is BOC1, um, and if I scroll down, you'll see it ends at 7350. Um, if I come in here to BOC2, and you'll see it picks up 100 foot down the road at 7450 and runs all the way to 80 plus 25. And then finally, we grab this one, which begins 75 feet down the road at 81. So now you have these in. These are your back of curve profiles. Um, you have them inside your GPK. Now you can just go plot them on your uh, profile cell, and they're ready for uh, plans production.